Jim, don't go away because the Sports World's Greatest Hits this week, NEC's Greatest Hits, looks at the Melbourne Cup. We go back to 1983 in Kiwi and Clinton Cassidy from Broadmeadows, he wants to relive this Melbourne Cup and when you have a look at Kiwi's performance, you will know why. They're racing. And first out was Hazar's command from La Cotton Triumphal March away well from Bianco Lady Kiamare. Wider out, Mr. Jazz got away nicely and coming right from the outside. Combat looking for the lead and getting it and Hayai away well. They were followed by English Wonder and Mark Vogel behind them from Nostradamus. Then came Noble Heights, No Peer. Tajor Mio next from Amarant and well back in the field is Homemade and Kiwi is last. Kiwi was last in the first call, last going out of the straight, and that's where he stayed until the home turn. Triumphal March commencing its run as they came down to the turn into the straight, and Mark Vogel is still there. 600 out on the corner, Mark Vogel, Hayai and Kiyomare in line, and Mr Jazz and Triumphal March make a line of nearly five. Noble comment behind them as they turn for home, and then Bianco Lady, no peer to the outside, just a dash to Jour Mio looking for a run, Kiyomare sprinted clear. At the 300, it's a length and a half to Noble Comment and Mr. Jazz the outside, then Triumphal March, Nostradamus. Kiyomare grabbed by Noble Comment and Mr. Jazz. Mr. Jazz, Noble Comment, Kiyomare clear. Veloso making some sort of a run and Kiwi late. It's going to be close here. Kiwi's going to beat them all with a mighty run. Kiwi swaps them on the line. And Kiwi's won at a length and a half to Noble Comment. A hit away third was Mr. Jazz. What a race. Jimmy Cassidy, the jockey, saying, I wanted to wait until the last 150 metres to the clock tower to make my run. He did. And that run and that performance is now one of the legends of the Melbourne Cup. Clinton, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. I love watching that again. If you'd like to see your greatest memory in sport, this is all you have to do. Write into NEC Sports World's Greatest Hits, Post Office Box 480, South Melbourne, Victoria, 3205. Jim, you've been handicapping since 1980. That was one of the great performances. What have been the best for you? I really made you wonder whether he did two laps of Flemington, didn't it, Bruce, <laughs> the way you finished there? Brilliant, wasn't uh, it? The finish of Gurners Lane in Kingston Town, and particularly Natsuki and Empire Rose. I thought that was a great finish. Yeah, that was 88, and the other one, 82. Now they're already betting on the Melbourne Cup, believe it or not. Jim's just put the weights out this morning and this was the market during the week. Sedestin was the favourite, Nay Rizzi the phantom, Solar Circle terrific. One thing Jim, I wouldn't take 12 to 1 about a horse in the Melbourne Cup right now. I reckon they're, that's under the odds. I think some people try to pick a runner, let alone the winner, Bruce. Absolutely. <laughs> Remembering there are 527 horses weighted, only 24 will line up on the day. Jim, thanks for coming in. Thanks Bruce, pleasure. You've had a very busy couple of months trying to sort out those cup weights. Back with more Sports World after this. Thank you.